radian measurements and trigonometric ratios. Write an equivalent expression for each trigonometric expression. Okay, so we have sine pi by 2 minus x. So equivalent expression, what do we mean? We mean that something which is similar to this, which gives us the same value, right? So let's try to see and then write down what it could be, right? We could have more than one answer. Now, let's say sine x is, let's, let's just make a triangle here. And let's say that this is angle x for us. So sine x is, let's call this opposite side, adjacent, and that is the radius r. Now, if you have sine of pi by 2 minus x, so what happens to pi by 2 minus x will be what? That means from this is pi by 2, from pi by 2 you take away x. In that case, our triangle for pi by 2 minus x will be something like this. Let's assume we are having the same radius, right? So let's go like this and kind of here, right? So we have a triangle like this here. So there, this angle is x. And then from here to here, it is pi by 2 minus x. Do you understand how we get pi by 2 minus x, correct? So let me drop a perpendicular from here. Which is same. Or you can consider this triangle, okay? It doesn't matter. Both are same. You can see these two triangles are congruent triangles. So whatever we do for this triangle, same is true for here. Okay. Now, what do we have? What is sine pi by 2 minus x? So if we have the same radius, then what really happens is that this side, which we are calling as A, becomes equivalent to this side. That becomes equivalent to A, right? Let me use a different thing. So this A gets to this place and that which we are calling O becomes that side, O. Now what is sine of pi by 2 minus x is opposite over radius and R remains same, correct? Now, so, so let's look into Okay, now let's, this, the longer side, what really happens? These two triangles are congruent, right? So let's, this side is A for us. This is A, that is A, correct? Now if you say sine pi by 2 minus x is how much? See sine x, you know is how much? Sine x is opposite over R. Do you see that? So we have here sine x is opposite over R. But what is sine pi by 2 minus x? Sine of pi by 2 minus x is this opposite side, which is equal to a, so it is equal to a divided by r. So pi by 2 minus x is this angle, and sine of pi by 2 minus x is this side divided by r, and this side is equal to a, right? But if you compare what is a over r in the original triangle, where x is the angle. In that case, this is equal to cos of x, correct? Now here we see cos of x is equals to a over r. And therefore, we can write that sine of pi by 2 minus x is equal to cos of x. Do you see that? So cos of x is an equivalent expression to sine of pi by 2 minus x. And this for identity is also called co-function identity because it converts sine into cos. These are co-functions. We call this co-function identity. Correct. Let's have a second look at it and this with the help of the other example. So let me sketch that one for you. This time it is cos pi by 2 plus x. Okay. Now what I will do is, I will draw my two triangles and name them in a different way. Okay, let's say this is a point x, y. Correct? And, well, the angle is x. Also, that may create confusion. 
Let me change this angle from x to theta. So we'll call this angle theta, okay. So that we don't really confuse between x and y. So if I say that this point is x, y, in that case, this side length is x and, and the opposite side length is y of the right angle triangle, correct? Now, what is pi by 2 plus theta? If this is my theta, what is pi by 2 plus theta? So for pi by 2 plus theta, I'll make, so we have to go plus theta here, right? So the same thing here. So we'll draw a similar triangle, I mean the same radius here, and see how it looks like. So it, this is my triangle, where now the principal angle is, from here to here, pi by 2 plus theta, correct? Pi by 2 is this, 90, and plus theta. Now look at it. If I drop a perpendicular from here, then what happens? If you compare with the original triangle, these two triangles are actually congruent. Correct? Where this theta is that theta. Correct? So this side becomes, the opposite side becomes y and that side becomes x. Correct? Now in the triangle, cos pi by 2 plus theta, which is this standing triangle with us, obtuse angle triangle, what is cosine of sine pi by 2 plus theta? Cosine pi by 2 plus theta is adjacent side, which is y over r. You see that? And since y is towards negative x, it is really minus y over r. Okay? If you compare this with the original triangle, what is y over r? Here, sine theta is actually equals to y over r. So what is minus y over r? Minus sine theta. And therefore, we can write that cos pi by 2 plus theta is same as minus sine theta. Correct? So the co-function identity is minus sine theta. So that is the co-function identity. So remember one thing. Whenever you have pi by 2 plus theta or minus theta, then cos changes to sine, which is its co-function. Sine changes to cos, which is its co-function. And tan and cotangent also will interchange. That is one part. And second thing which you need to remember is about this sine. Sometimes that sine could be positive, sometimes negative. How will you decide about that? That is decided with cast rule. C A S T. You know, we were cos pi by 2 plus theta in this quadrant. In this quadrant, cos is negative though, so we have negative sign. In the first case, sine pi by 2 minus x, we were in the first quadrant. In first quadrant, all are positive, so cos x was positive. So depending on in which quadrant we are, this value will be positive or negative. Do you understand? So let me write here, this is equivalent to cos of x. Okay. 